Hi, I'm Shannon McGee, franchise owner with Network in Action and Strategic Business Coach. And today I have Leanne Constantine with the Constantine Group at Compass Real Estate. Thanks for joining me today, Leanne. Thanks for having me. So tell me a little bit about your story. Tell me what made you decide to go into real estate in kind of when was that? Well, it's kind of a funny story. And it was back around 2006, 2007, I was working for a custom builder as their designer. And I got to work with all the clients and helping them pick out their countertops and cabinets and all the pretty stuff. And it was a great job. And I loved working with people. And that job evolved into selling several of our large custom houses. And I would get a big thank you. Uh, but I decided, you know, I would like to do this full time, this aspect of it. So I went ahead and got a real estate license and my design background has helped me tremendously in helping my clients in real estate. But it just seemed to be a natural evolution. And I have a background in proofreading and copy editing. So that made contract analysis really easy for me because I'm used to scrutinizing documents. So it all just kind of worked together. I love that story. I mean, wow, what an asset that you have that experience to bring to your to your clients. And, you know, it's a pretty competitive marketplace. It seems like everybody knows a realtor. But, you know, what are some of your differentiators besides this unique background that you have? What sets you apart from, um, there's a lot of people who just got into real estate in the past few years, for one. But um, tell me a little bit more about what sets you apart. Well, it's like you say, I've read that the average person knows 14 realtors. So you have mm -hmm. a slew of choices out there. I think what differentiates good realtors from mediocre realtors is that you are relationship-based as opposed to transaction-based. Like I want to lead people through the transition, not just the transaction. And I want to be their realtor for life. I don't want to just close them and move on to the next thing. And in order to be that person, to be the agent I want to be, it comes down to extraordinary customer service. I mean, I do things for clients. You know, I, I will cover staging. Depending on what commission we negotiate, I'll cover people's staging. I absolutely control and manage the any repairs that need to be done. I become the project manager on that because I want to make sure they're done right. So I take all of that workload off my clients with listings. With buyers, I will absolutely sometimes send them homes and they'll say, I don't, I don't really want this. I'm like, no, you really, really need to see this because I, I feel like it's really the right choice for you. So I'm deeply involved in the process. I don't just let them tell me which houses they want to see. Yeah, That's a I love that passion. I love um, because honestly, that's what it takes to succeed in anything that you do is truly what's that passion. But you also have some different, tell me more about, you have different certifications and you're also a principal broker. That's not just a realtor. Tell me a little bit more about that and your certifications. Yes. Yeah, so once you've had a real estate license for three years, you can take a second exam that is much, much harder to become a broker. You get a broker's license. And then once you have a broker's license, you, if you want to be a principal broker, that means you run a brokerage. And so you are hired by a brokerage to be in charge of all the other agents. And so there's a lot more involved. There's a lot more education involved, a lot more requirements. And you learn so much because you see the legal side mm -hmm. of the business that you don't always see from the other side. We have to have 16 hours of continuing education every two years. And in doing that, you can get certified in various uh, specialties. So I'm a certified negotiation expert. I'm a certified luxury home marketer. I have a certification actually in divorce real estate, which has its own separate special needs and um, requires a certain level of sensitivity. Absolutely. I'm an accredited buyer's representative. Uh, there's quite a few others, uh, senior resource, a uh, lot, lot of things. But that is fun because we are constantly being challenged in this ever-changing market. And I'm... I, I'm sort of a nerd at heart, so I love learning new things, taking classes, all that stuff. What I love about it is you're right. It's a changing market. And to have someone with your expertise and diverse diversity of expertise is such an asset. But what what do you find is the most challenging part of your job and what you do? Honestly, the most challenging part is setting expectations because what people hear through the media about the market is 98% just simply not true. And what people see on Property Brothers and DIY and all that stuff, not true. They're very entertaining, but not true. So I have to 
uh, I'm passionate about setting realistic expectations mm -hmm. so that the real estate experience people have with me will feel seamless because they are prepared that, you know, if they want to list their home at a price that's too high, I advise against that. I tell them exactly what's going to happen. And it typically does. Sometimes we get lucky, but uh, I, that that's the hardest part. And when we just came out of this market where things were being bought sight unseen and no repairs, mm -hmm. all that, people still have that expectation right now. And that's just, that's not happening. So that part of it requires, um, some diplomacy, some sensitivity, and some understanding of where your clients come from too. It's not that people are just being greedy. They're just operating with what they've been told. Yeah. I also find that um, there's a confidence that comes with that expertise. And, um, and I say that in building trust with the people that you're working with, right? The fact that you've been through, you've been in the uh, industry so long, you have these different certifications, you have this confidence in and experience behind the recommendations and the education that you're giving these clients that that folks newer in the industry simply don't have and especially some of those folks maybe they've been in for a while but I think I've heard it said the average realtor sells what two or three homes a year and so you know there is a difference in expertise so Leanne if someone wanted to get a hold of you what's the best way to reach you Absolutely. The best way to reach me, and this is going to sound very nerdy, but it's text message because I'm not always able to answer my phone and I am really not good at checking voicemail. I don't even know why, but I'm not. So my cell phone number, shoot me a text. I will respond immediately. I do pride myself on being responsive to text messages. Wonderful. Well, thanks for joining me today, Leanne. I've enjoyed time with you. Thank you, Shannon. I appreciate it.